This video, lasting about 7 minutes, introduces you to 5 English words sourced from 1100 Words You Need to Know by Murray Bromberg and Melvin Gordon, a premier book for enhancing your vocabulary. The goal is to broaden your choice of words. This video is not just about their meanings or how you use them. My colleagues and I gonna share some cool techniques to help these words stick in your memory. So whether you're on your way to work, in the bathroom, or have a few spare moments, you can play this video and make the most of your time by enhancing your English vocabulary. At the end of this video, you will hear a short story from the book, using all the words we've talked about. So stay tuned until the very end and see if you can understand the paragraph. The word for today is egregious. Egregious is an adjective. Egregious means something extremely bad in a way that is very noticeable. Egregious is more likely to be used in formal situations. For example, it was an egregious error for a government spokesman to show such ignorance. It was an egregious error for a government spokesman to show such ignorance. Any tricks to remember this word? To easily remember egregious, imagine someone dropping a basket of eggs at a market. The eggs break everywhere, creating a big mess. One of the eggs, as if it could talk and move, gets really mad and starts raging or shouting about the mess. This egg rages moment shows just how shockingly bad the situation is. This funny picture in your mind can help you remember that egregious means something really bad. Egregious, egregious, egregious. The word for today is distraught. Distraught is an adjective. Distraught means very upset or worried. The word distraught isn't used very often in everyday talk, but you might hear it more in formal situations. For example, the missing child's distraught parents made an emotional appeal for information on TV. The missing child's distraught parents made an emotional appeal for information on TV. Any tricks to remember this word? To remember the word distraught, you could think of it as a combination of distant and thought. Distant and thought. Imagine someone so upset that their thoughts are distant, scattered, and hard to gather. This image can help you recall that distraught refers to being deeply upset and emotionally scattered. Distraught, distraught, distraught. The word for today is duplicity. Duplicity is a noun. Duplicity means dishonest talk or behavior, especially by saying different things to two people. Duplicity is more likely to be used in formal situations. For example, they were accused of duplicity in their dealings with both sides. They were accused of duplicity in their dealings with both sides. Any tricks to remember this word? To remember duplicity, think of it like duplicate city. Duplicate city. Imagine a city where everything has a duplicate, a hidden copy. This city looks normal on the surface, but secretly, there's another version of everything hidden away. This visualization can help you remember that duplicity involves hiding the real intentions behind a facade, much like a city hiding its duplicates. Duplicity, duplicity, duplicity. The word for today is acrimonious. Acrimonious is an adjective. The word acrimonious describes something that is full of bitterness, anger, and a lot of strong, harsh words. It's often used to talk about arguments or debates where people are very upset and harsh with each other. Acrimonious is not commonly used in everyday conversation. It's more typical in formal contexts or written English. For example, the debate between the two politicians became acrimonious, with both sides exchanging harsh words. The debate between the two politicians became acrimonious, with both sides exchanging harsh words. Any tricks to remember this word? To remember acrimonious, you can start by remembering acrimony, which is the noun form. You can memorize acrimony by associating it with angry ceremony. Angry ceremony. Picture a ceremony where instead of celebration and joy, there's anger and bitterness filling the air. This visual can help you connect acrimony to situations characterized by bitterness and hostility. Acrimony, acrimonious, 
Acrimony, acrimonious, acrimony, acrimonious. The word for today is paucity. Paucity is a noun. Paucity simply means there is not enough of something. It's a fancy way of saying shortage or lack. Paucity is not commonly used in everyday conversation. It's more typical in formal, academic, or written contexts. For example, poor healthcare, a paucity of jobs, and a sense of instability is now taking its toll. Poor healthcare, a paucity of jobs, and a sense of instability is now taking its toll. Any tricks to remember this word? To remember paucity, you can think of it as poor city. Poor city. Imagine a city that is poor because it lacks resources, opportunities, or amenities. This mental image of a poor city can help you remember that paucity refers to a situation where there is a shortage or lack of something important. Paucity, paucity, paucity. Now let's read a short story that uses all the words we've learned today to see if you understand the story's meaning. The cheating scandal came to a head when Art Kraus, our football captain, made the egregious mistake of getting caught cheating on a midterm exam. If Art were suspended for his part in that sordid affair, our chances for winning the city championship would go up in smoke. The distraught coach asked the principal to overlook Art's duplicity, but Mr. Dorsey replied in an acrimonious fashion that the players had been given a plethora of athletic instruction, but a paucity of moral guidance. Okay, now I'll explain the short story again using simpler words. The cheating scandal peaked when Art Kraus, our football captain, was caught cheating on a midterm exam. If Art got suspended, our chances of winning the city championship would be ruined. The upset coach asked the principal to ignore Art's cheating, but Mr. Dorsey harshly said that the players had received lots of athletic training, but not enough moral guidance. Did you catch that? If not, keep listening, I'm sure you'll be able to grasp it soon. Meanwhile, this is the end of this video. I hope you have learned something useful and that the methods I used to help you remember the words were helpful. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. If you have another way of memorizing any of these words, please leave your comments so that we can learn from you too. Thanks.